Hello, Kevin Richards here with Thomas All Things Automotive. I want to show you today a 2016 Chevy Equinox LT1 package. Uh, sharp looking car, Chevy Equinox has been around for a while, very reliable. Uh, you'll notice the, the uh, Chevy grill here, classic Chevrolet design. You do have high intensity headlamps. You got fog lights in the bottom there as well. Uh, this is pretty uh, black uh, metallic paint. Uh, we'll look here at the wheel to see should we show you that you do get a full alloy five spoke split spoke wheel uh, It's on a 17 inch rim. These tires are Michelin's very good brand of tire They're very much like new about seven eight thirty seconds plenty of miles left as You can see a nice shiny resurface rotor one thing we do here at Thomas We do a used car mechanical check sheet on all our vehicles signed off by the mechanic that did the inspection You can find that report in the glove box just a way to ensure the mechanical integrity of all the vehicles we sell. Right now you're looking at the view from the passenger front side. As you can see, you have a perforated cloth, dark uh, uh, gray cloth interior and dark carpeting. You also have uh, two sport bucket seats with a full flow console in between. Let's go ahead and switch to the back here so you can see. This would be a uh, you know a smaller uh, SUV, but as you can tell, there's very ample leg, hip and shoulder room to the rear occupants there. Very clean vehicle, like new, free of any rips, tears, or odors. Uh, also, we'll look here at the rear tire as well, just to show you it is a Michelin Michelin, and it does have the same 7, 8, 30 seconds of tread wear on it also. Continue our way around to the back just to show you this course is an all-wheel drive Chevy Equinox LT. The badging from the rear will display that. Also, as you can see here before I lift the hatch, you do have a rear backup camera right there, which is nice just to make sure you don't bump into anything. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up. Just a little touch pad there will open the lift gate. And as you can see, you got a 60-40 rear split bench. If you have long cargo, those seats will stow down. You also have a 12-volt uh, power supply right here on the side. You got a subwoofer over here. You also have a mini spare and jack tools are right there underneath the uh, false floor. So uh, very easy to load and unload cargo. Ample uh, cargo storage room back there as well. Uh, we'll continue around here with the other side there again just to show you you do have a matching, matching Michelin uh, tire on that side as well. And now we'll look at the uh, interior from the driver's side rear just to show you that it's like the passenger side, you know, free of any rips or tears. Uh, one last time here on the driver's seat. And the biggest difference is you will notice a full power seat on the driver's side of this vehicle, which is different than the passenger side. Uh, there are also a lot of other options within the car, so I think it's best if I just kind of show you around a little bit, show you where the controls are within the uh, cockpit here. We'll start on the door where you'll find your power window, power lock, and power mirror switches in the classic place there right on the door. Go ahead and show you the key here as well. Just so you can see a couple features. One, we do only have one key to this vehicle, but I mainly wanted to show you it does have the remote start and of course the key fob switchblade style key laser cut there. Go ahead and start this up. Just so you can see the exact miles that's on this vehicle, it's very low mileage. Uh, let me just go ahead and clear this off. There you can see it has 11,743 miles, very much like new. Uh, we'll start here with the headlamp switch, which is on the left stem. As you can see, it's set to automatic headlamps right now. You also have your turn signals and your high beams on that same stem. On the right stem is where you'll find your front and rear wipers and washers. Uh, to the left of the steering wheel, you'll find your cruise control. To the right of the steering wheel, you'll find your audio controls on your steering wheel as well as your Bluetooth. Uh, we'll work our way over to the uh, radio, as you can see, it's upgraded radio here, AM, FM, and uh, Sirius XM radio options right there. Uh, you also have the climate control here, and you have heated cloth seats, driver and passenger, which is another nice little feature for this vehicle. So uh, there you have your climate control buttons, also some menu buttons for your in-vehicle display right there. Uh, down below. We have a uh, eco button right here, change your shift points to give you a little more fuel efficiency on longer trips. Also you have your selective button right here so you can manually pick which gear you'd like to be in right at the top of the shifter. Just put the gear uh, shifter into M, use that to upshift and downshift as needed. Last button to show you here in the console is your traction control button, you can turn that on or off. Uh, with that control. Also as you can see you have two large cup holders there and in the console if you can see down in there you have your uh, USB plug-in as well as your audio uh, pre-out pre uh, uh, 
uh, button right there. Very deep, spacious, nice little light in there so you can see well to keep all of your items. Uh, just across the top, I mean, you do have LED lighting in here, LED map lights, and of course all Chevrolets give you the option there for the OnStar. A very nice, clean, uh, small utility vehicle. Now this is the four-cylinder. I'm going to go ahead and pop the hood. Let you see what it looks like underneath. Hood releases right there. Like I say, this is the uh, four-cylinder. I believe it's a 2.4 liter EcoTech four-cylinder engine. As you can see, very quiet. Battery terminals are free of any uh, uh, oxidation. There's no uh, any you know, leaks, exhaust, or fluid. Very quiet engine. Very clean engine. Very much like new. Next part of the video is just going to walk around this car. I didn't notice a couple little minor imperfections. Just want to walk around the car. You're going to get them with all used vehicles. Just kind of try to show you any little imperfections that we might have here. A um, couple of tiny little stone chips right there on the front fender. Got a couple very small scratches that have been buffed out right there. Got a tiny little dent. If you can get it in the right light right there on the A pillar there. A couple little fine scratches on that door as well. It's just a little bit of dirt. It's very clean. Scratch that's been touched up right there. Scratch that kind of runs down like this. It's been touched up across the deck lid. A couple little scuffs there from loading and unloading the cargo. In front of the rear fascia. Rest of the tailgate looks really good. See if I can pick up any dents on the doors. Looks pretty good up this side. Shot. Really looks good on the passenger side. Don't notice anything to speak of. Maybe a tiny little scratch right there. That's about it. Across to the front, little stone chip right there on the fender. Little scratch there. Across the front fascia, I don't see much there either, guys. So that's about it. Had one dent, had a scratch on the lift gate, a little scratch back on the quarter panel, but other than that, very much like new, very much a new car alternative with only 11,000 miles on a 16 model. Excellent savings over new. Uh, one last thing before we close the vehicle, I do want to say it's a one owner vehicle with a clean Carfax. Shows no signs of any prior paintwork. Uh, also, it is still covered under the remainder of Chevrolet's three-year, 36,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty as well as their uh, five-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty. So that will apply. You can buy this car with confidence. If you're interested in this car, there's a couple ways you can reach out to us. One is on the web at www.thomasata.com or you can give us a call at area code 717-485-4224. Again, my name is Kevin. I appreciate your time with this video and I hope you have a great day.